Hey everybody, it's Guns N' Roses Rock and Roll, and listen, I gotta be honest, today's video is, well, it's a tough one. Today I want to share something deeply personal and emotional. It's about my high school sweetheart, Angeline Marie Emile Suizo, and why she'll always hold a special place in my heart, even though she's no longer with us. Yeah, I know, heavy stuff, right? But these are the 10 reasons why I'd marry Angeline today, even though fate had other plans. Get the tissues ready, folks, because this one's a tearjerker. You know, they say love never dies, and I really believe that. Angeline and I, we had this connection, this bond that just felt different, real, like it was meant to be. And even though she's gone, I still feel that love. It's like she's still here with me, in my heart, you know? It's a love that transcends the physical world, a love that death can't touch. It's hard to explain, but it's like our souls are still connected, intertwined in a way that can never be broken. People might think I'm crazy for still feeling this way, but I don't care. My love for her is real, and it always will be. They say life is a journey, and sometimes that journey gets cut short. That's how I feel about Angeline and me. We were just getting started, you know? We had dreams, plans. We were gonna take on the world together. And then, just like that, it was over. It's like a book with the last chapter ripped out, a song that ends abruptly. It just, it just doesn't feel finished. And that's what makes it so hard, knowing that we'll never get to write the rest of our story together. But you know what? I'm so grateful for the time we did have. Every laugh, every shared smile, every silly argument, I cherish those memories like they're gold, because they are gold. They're all I have left of her, and they're what keep her alive in my mind. Like that time we snuck into a drive-in movie or the time we went to the beach and I built her a sandcastle that was taller than me. I'll never forget those moments. They're etched into my heart forever. Chapter 4. Spiritual Connection And sometimes when I'm alone, I swear I can still feel her presence. It's like she's watching over me sending me little signs, like a feather on the wind or a song on the radio that reminds me of her. It's those moments when I feel closest to her, when the veil between this world and the next seems to thin just a little bit. It's comforting, you know, to know that even though she's not physically here, her spirit is always with me. Chapter 5. Dreams as Union And then there are the dreams. Man, the dreams. That's when I really get to see her again. We'll be walking hand in hand on a beach or slow dancing under the stars just like old times. And in those dreams it's like she never left. The pain is gone, the sadness, it's just pure, unadulterated joy. I know it's just my subconscious trying to cope, but those dreams, they feel so real. Like a glimpse into an alternate reality where we're still together, still writing our story. Chapter 6. Unwavering Commitment I know some people might think it's weird, but I've never been with anyone else since Angeline. It just wouldn't feel right, you know? Like I'd be betraying the love we had. My heart belongs to her, always and forever. It's a commitment I made a long time ago and it's one I intend to keep. Because true love like ours, it doesn't come around twice in a lifetime. Sometimes I can't help but think about what could have been. I imagine us older, maybe with a family of our own. I see her wrinkles and her gray hair, and I love her even more. It's not fair that our time was cut short. I wish I had more time to make things right, to tell her how much she means to me. But that's the thing about life, isn't it? It doesn't always go the way you plan. But even though she's gone, her memory is still so vivid in my mind. Her laugh, her smile, the way her eyes sparkled when she was happy. Those are the things I hold on to. Her name is etched into my soul, a constant reminder of the love we shared. And even though it hurts, even though I miss her terribly, I wouldn't trade those memories for the world. Because they're a part of me now woven into the fabric of my being. Angeline, she taught me what it means to truly love someone, to love unconditionally without reservation. She showed me the power of a single heart, the depth of a single soul, and for that, I'll be forever grateful. She set the bar high, that's for sure. No one else could ever come close to the love we shared, and that's okay because she'll always be the one, the love of my life, the one who showed me the true meaning of forever. I know it might sound crazy, loving someone who's gone, but I've come to realize that love doesn't end with death. It transcends the physical, the earthly, 
It's a connection of the soul, a bond that can never be broken. And so, I'll continue to love Angeline, even though she's no longer here in the physical world. Because true love like ours, it's eternal. It's forever. Well folks, there you have it. 10 Reasons Why My Love For Angeline Will Never Die Thank you for listening to my story. Love transcends all boundaries, even death. It's a powerful force, one that can shape our lives in profound ways. If you're lucky enough to have found that kind of love, cherish it. Hold on to it with everything you've got. And if you've lost someone you love, know that their memory will always be a part of you. Their love will continue to shine on in your heart long after they're gone.